we'll go ahead and get started. So hello everyone, welcome to the afternoon stretch break, Jazzy Health Fitness Specialist at Exodus and Autodesk. And we're really excited to get into some stretching today. So if you were with us this morning, we did a lot of upper body stuff. And this afternoon, we're gonna be focusing more on the lower body. So if you have anything that's a little tight that you'd want me to focus a little extra on, feel free to drop that in the chat. We're gonna get started here in a shin box position on the ground. So we're gonna make 90 degree angles with both of our legs in our hips and in our knees, just to help open up our hips after sitting down during the day so far. So I have my left leg in front here and my right leg off to the side. And from here, we're just gonna do a little bit of rotation, get our, our spine kind of warmed up a little bit, moving. So I'm gonna take my same arm of the leg that's in the front, plant that hand next to me here. We're gonna inhale to prepare. And on the exhale, we're gonna take that opposite hand, reach through as far as we can, gazing past that thumb there. So we're rotating through the head and neck. And then we'll return back to that starting position. So we're just gonna do this a few times. So Whitney, uh -huh, words. Inhale to prepare. And on the exhale, reaching through as far as we can. On the exhale, breathe all that air out, then come back to center. So we're gonna go ahead and do two more here. Reaching as far as we can. And back to center. And while we're out, let's go ahead and do one more. Inhale to repair. On the exhale, reaching through. And back to center. Awesome. So let's go ahead and switch over to the other side. I know normally we do a couple things in this position, but this is the only thing we're going to do in this shin box here are these reach throughs, and then we're going to roll over onto our back. So same thing, opposite hand. So my right leg is in front, my right arm is to the side, left hand is going to reach through. So we inhale to prepare. On the exhale, reaching through. And if you feel any pops or if you hear any popping or cracking, no need to worry unless there's pain associated. Totally normal to feel a little bit of crunching here. Exhaling as we reach through. Awesome, inhale to prepare. Exhaling, reaching through. And back to center. And last one here, Into inhale to prepare. Exhale, reaching through. And returning back to that starting position. Awesome job. We can go ahead and come to our backs now. So we're gonna do a little bit of a hamstring stretch here, and then we'll do some piriformis stretch, and then we're gonna end with the bretzel here. So first for this hamstring stretch, I'm gonna leave my left leg extended, my right knee, I'm gonna interlace my fingers right behind that knee here. We're gonna start with that foot bent, or not the foot, the knee is bent, our foot is down here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze the quad, extend our leg all the way up. We really wanna squeeze through the quad, not through the hamstring here, and then back down. So we're keeping our heel, like our foot is flexed. We're kicking up towards the ceiling, feeling that stretch all through the back of our leg, squeeze through the quad and back down. So we're really using that quad here. We're activating the front of our leg to give the back of the leg a little bit of a release. So all of our muscles, it's an equal and opposite reaction here. So if we flex one, we're gonna release the other. So flexing that quad is gonna help us relieve some tension in that hamstring. Let's go ahead and do one more here. So we're squeezing as we lift up and back down. Great job. So now we can go ahead and do that same thing on the other side. So interlacing the fingers behind the left knee now keeping that foot flex, squeezing through the front of the quad, holding for a few seconds and back down to that starting position. Sometimes our hamstrings are tight. We don't necessarily want to stretch them. It's like pulling your lips apart. You're, sometimes if you have tension in certain muscles, we don't really want to stretch them anymore. So this is a good active stretch to do that really is not gonna pull any tighter on those hamstrings. Great job, everyone. Last one here, kicking up, squeezing that quad and back down. Wonderful. 
All right, next up, that piriformis stretch. So we're gonna have both feet are gonna start on the ground here. I'm gonna take my right ankle, place it right above my left knee. And if that feels like a good stretch, go ahead and stay there. If you need a little extra tension, go ahead and interlace those fingers and either grab behind the knee or in front of the shin, or gonna pull that leg towards our chest. Nice big deep breaths, slowly exhaling. Breathing into any tightness we feel in the hip today. And we're gonna do one more big inhale here. Slowly exhaling. We can go ahead and gently bring that left foot back to the ground. We're gonna do the same thing now, cross that left foot over the right knee and you can either stay there or interlace your fingers, grab behind the knee or in front of the shin, whatever feels best and is available to you today. We just wanna to start to feel that stretch on the outer part of our hip. We're stretching out that piriformis muscle, tiny little muscle under the glutes. Can help us open up our low back, open up the fronts of our hips, unlock some tension in the hamstrings. Definitely getting a lot of posterior chain stretch in here. So we're breathing nice and deep into the belly here. Slowly exhaling. And we got one more big inhale here. Slowly exhaling. You can go ahead and plant both those feet on the ground. And we're gonna flip over onto our side for the last stretch today. So doing that breath, so stretch, I'm on my left side. My top leg or my right leg is gonna come across my body, knee and ankle on the ground, bottom hand on top of that knee. So it's gonna help us keep that knee there. Our bottom leg, or right now my left leg, is gonna come up. I'm gonna grab that foot or ankle with my top hand or my right hand. And we're gonna inhale to prepare. And on the exhale, we're gonna open up, trying to get both of our shoulders onto the ground here. So we're inhaling wherever we need to stretch most. If you need a lower body, breathe into that belly. If you need an upper body, breathe into your chest, in through the mouth, or sorry, in through the nose. And out through the mouth, sighing away any tension, relaxing into the stretch. Um, we don't wanna feel any tension in our muscles, so relax here with each exhale. And we're gonna do one more big inhale here. Slowly exhaling. And gently release that back leg. And we're gonna flip on over to the other side and we're gonna do the same process here. So top leg up and over, bottom hand on top of that knee, bottom leg, we're gonna grab with our top hand and we're gonna inhale to prepare. And on the exhale, opening up. So goal is to get both shoulders on the ground. If we're not there yet, don't worry, we will get there. Practice makes perfect. So the more we do the stretch, the better at it we will get and the looser we will become. Great job. Let's go ahead and do one more big inhale here. And slowly exhale. You can gently release that bottom leg 
And you can roll around your stomach or however is the easiest way to get up. But that is going to be all the time we have for today in this afternoon stretch break. So thank you all for joining me. I hope your lower body feels nice and refreshed. Um, don't forget today is Tuesday. So we have admin core with Luis at 430. And we also are hosting our virtual blood drive. So I'll go ahead and head over to our SharePoint site. Check out our virtual blood drive page under programs and services and we'll tell you all the details on how to sign up but you're going to sign up as soon as possible with making your appointment in between june 1st and june 30th so um let us know if you have any questions thank you all for coming and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day